Hi guys, today's video is going to be really fun. It's one that has been requested and I've talked about how I pack online. I have um, apparently an unusual way of organising my packing ahead of time and it helps me to make sure that more than anything, I don't buy loads of stuff before holidays or before trips that doesn't go together because in the past, my like worst time in terms of overspending for holidays, like the, the month just before and I'm like, oh, I need, a, I need a new coat or I need some new boots or I need whatever it might be. And then I end up having all of these new things and nothing really goes together. Um, and so I do it this way and it saves me time, it saves me money, it helps me to only pack what I really need to take. Uh, and it's a kind of a way of organising a capsule wardrobe. I actually covered this in my book, so if you have read it, um, you may be familiar with this concept already. Um, but I feel like for those of you who used to like those cut-out dolls, you know the dolls where you had like little paper clothes and you could dress them up in different things, you're gonna love this. Today's video is sponsored by John Pipe Auctions. Basically, it's just an auction site online. You can go and see the stuff if you want to, but pretty much, for me, I'll just be looking at things online, but they sell literally anything you could possibly imagine, like end of line stuff, it's continued stuff from like major department stores. They have lots of designer clothes, um, random like handbags and small leather goods, that kind of thing. That's the stuff I'm interested in. But then they have like white goods, furniture, cars. It's crazy, diamonds diamonds. So I'm just going to show you quickly a little bit around the site and then we'll get on with the uh, packing demonstration. So this is the site. As you can see, I mean, I'm filming this a week out, so it's all going to look different if you look on it today. Um, but as you can see, it's really, really varied. Like there's a lot of different categories of things that they sell. And even within each auction, they'll sell lots of different categories. Uh, this is all across the UK. Uh, dependent on what you buy, you may need to go and collect it or arrange your own courier. But the stuff that I am looking at they do provide some kind of shipping for you. So I actually purchased something yesterday. I've been looking at these things, I'll show you. Because um, I, since I've been contacted with them, because I had no idea, I've never even heard of John Pie, and now I'm like constantly refreshing to see what else they've got. I'm a bit of a bargain hunter. So for example, if I search coach, you can see what I've been looking for. Um, then you can see everything that they have in stock from coach. And they currently have a bunch of these Disney things. So I won an auction yesterday that was um, for a little Disney pink clutch from Coach. Um, I won it, I'm gonna show you at the end of the video kind of how that process was and stuff, um, but I won it and I'm waiting to receive it now. So there's gonna be another video, I'm gonna unbox that along with some other things they're sending me. Um, but I wanted to see it kind of from a consumer's perspective, how easy it is. It's honestly from, I mean, up to now, no different from using any other online auction. I was just, I mean, the other thing is, you know, there's multiple things. So for example, with this particular one, if I hadn't won one of them, as long as I'm kind of like online at the right time, then chances are I can win another one because there are so many. Um, obviously check online, do your research, make sure that you are not paying kind of more than you want to pay for things. But I think I got a pretty good deal for what I already purchased. Plus it was something that was now discontinued. It was like a limited edition item. Uh, another thing worth mentioning is that there is um, an additional cost on top of your bid. So once you've bid, there's a buyer's premium and there's VAT. So again, we'll get into the nitty gritty of it at the end, but I just kind of wanted to show you what it was. You can literally search for anything. Um, it might be that they don't have anything that you're interested in at the time, but it changes all the time. Um, and they'll add tons and tons of stuff. So currently loads and loads and loads of Michael Kors stuff. They'll have coats, they've got dresses. You can search for like dresses, medium, for example. Oh, there were loads yesterday. That must mean that that auction's ended now. Um, you might, oh, dresses, that's why, because I'm an idiot. Um, dress, medium. And then you'll find absolutely anything that comes up with dress. So that could be like multiple things all together. There are cosmetics things that I've found, like skincare bundles, you know, like gift with purchase, that kind of thing. Um, just absolutely loads. It's one of those things that you're gonna go into and you're gonna lose yourself immediately. Um, but we will come back to this. Now let's get into the packing. So I use a website called PickMonkey. I use this because it's something that I'm familiar with. I use it for all of my, anything that I wanna do for like Instagram, YouTube, anything like that. My end card at the end of this video was made in pink. Wouldn't you know, I did everything for my book in PickMonkey. Um, it used to be a free service and I thought that it still was. I paid for it because I wanted some extra bells and whistles, but it seems like now you do have to pay. However, you can get a free trial. So if this, this is something you kind of just wanna do as a one-off, for a holiday, then by all means, just throw it all on there and you can use the free trial. Alternatively, there are other things like Canva. You can even just use whatever like 
image um, software you've got on your computer or your iPad or whatever else. There's loads and loads of different ways of doing this. It's basically just a copy and paste exercise. I'm just showing you it in PicMonkey because that's kind of how I do it. Um, so I'll open a blank canvas of whatever size that I want. Let's make it relatively large so that I can see what I'm doing. Um, and from here, I have to decide what I think that I have already have I would like to take with me. And I know for a fact that I've got some fur coat, so I'm gonna just search for the fur coat that I know I have. Um, and I bought it secondhand, it's exactly that one, but I want a better image than that. Uh, again, it's that one. It's here, that's the exact coat. It was maybe like four or five years old at this point. I can find that image of the exact same thing that I've got. If you can't find the exact same image, just find something as a placeholder, something that will kind of work. Um, so I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna, download some of the stuff that I've already got, like get some of the images together, things that I actually want to take with me that I already own, and I'm gonna throw them into that sheet. Okay, so I've put it all in there. I've kind of put them together in outfits, um, but at this point, this is where I can kind of start moving things around and deciding whether or not I actually want certain things, if there's line of a gap, or you know what I'm saying. So I've got three coats. I know this seems excessive. I'm only gonna be there for three nights, but it's cold, and that's basically your entire outfit when you're outside. Um, I'm gonna take one outfit that potentially is my traveling outfit. So this is the one on the end. This is some stretchy high waist leggings and my hoodie. However, the hoodie could be worn while I was there as well. Um, I have a blouse. I'm not 100% sure whether or not I wanna take this blouse. So I'm just gonna put that to one side for now. Um, these leather trousers I am absolutely obsessed with and I wear them to work all the time and I will be 100% taking them with me because they're gonna be nice and warm. They're fleece lined inside. Um, this white jumper. Now, these two jumpers I've got here I really like them, I wear them to work, I think they're quite smart. I'm not 100% sure that I feel great in these jumpers. I like them, but you know what I'm saying? Again, I mentioned this before, when it comes to personal style, I think you have to have certain pieces that you know you can pull out and you're like, every single time you put it on, you feel great. Not everything is gonna work for you like that, but it's nice, especially on kind of a short trip, to just take your absolute favorite, favorite items. And so I'm not 100% sure, but we're leaving them in as placeholders for now. Uh, I've got um, one pair of black jeans and then one pair of the stretchy leather trousers. I don't think I'm gonna take any dresses, but I'm not sure. Um, and then I've got my accessories down here. So I've got my trainers, which I'll travel in. I've got some very, very comfortable, I know they look high and insane, but they are incredibly comfortable, rubber soled boots. Um, then I've got some nice heels that I will take with me. I know I've gone with like a, a very basic color palette, but again, there's reason for that. Um, and then a couple of bags which will work in different ways. So for example, my big hold all that I could take with me on the way there, or I could pack it all up, try to make do with what I've got. And then I've got a little bit of extra room to grow into when it comes to packing on the way out. I've got a very, very small uh, nighttime handbag. I've got, again, something that could work as a nighttime handbag because it's very smart. Um, but my kind of daytime handbag, handbag. And then the little pouch there is the bag that I actually use as my passport holder. So I'll put all of my travel things in there, but then once we get there, I can use it as a clutch or I can put a long chain on it and it just kind of serves double duty. So this is pretty much like a capsule wardrobe for me. Um, and this is how I would organize it. So at this point, if I wanted to add in a dress or something else, you can kind of move things around. You can decide, um, right, this is gonna go with this. Maybe I decide that this, I mean, I, this is like not a particularly varied example, but you hear what I'm saying. Um, in fact, let me find you what I did for last year's holiday, because I feel like that's more varied. This one was pretty good. This one was for Ella, and this is while I was shopping. So this is a better example, because the New York one, I'm pretty kind of like, it's gonna be pretty basic. I like to keep it certain color palettes so things go together, but I'm pretty monochromatic. Um, this is not massively colorful, but I think you get a different vibe. Um, and you can see how we're, we're using things in different ways. So at this point, I was shopping for her. She was telling me what maybe she would wanna wear. I knew some of the things that she already had, and I was trying to make things work in different outfits. So if she's got this skirt, it can go with this, it can go with this. She's got this play suit, it can go over the top of the t-shirt she could also wear on its own. Um, you can see where I'm going with that. This one was the beginning of my holiday prep. If it will load, there. Um, okay, so this again was while I was shopping. So I was getting things together, like things that I knew I had. I knew I had the trainers, I knew I had the shorts, um, and certain other items here I already had. Uh, and I was deciding kind of what colors I was going for. And I went for kind of like a maroon, yellow, and denim theme. So everything I was buying was fitting within that theme. And even though some of the stuff wasn't necessarily gonna be kind of like 
mixed together. I felt like I was taking a more cohesive collection of clothing with me because everything kind of fit. There was nothing that was like really out there, completely different. Um, and when I was doing this, it also helped me realize that like, let's say I was on a sale website. Well, let's say I was on the John Pye auction website, relevant. Uh, and I'm looking and going, oh, I love this dress. This is so perfect. I can then look at this and go, right, where does it fit? Does this actually fit in with the wardrobe that I want to take with me? Does it actually fit in with the wardrobe that I have made for myself at home? This is a really, really useful tool if you are someone who tends to overshop and randomly impulse buy. It just kind of works for me. Everyone's got their own way of doing things. I find this to be the most organized I can possibly be when it comes to packing and traveling. Uh, so this is how I do it. It's very, very simple. But I realise, once I mentioned it on social media and stuff, that not everybody does it, not everybody had considered it. There are other ways of doing this. I know that there are apps that allow you to do this. You can take pictures of your clothes, do whatever you want. But I find that seeing it like this, for my organisational mind, is the most useful. Because I just like to see what I've got. Here are the gaps. Let's say, for example, I saw this skirt by itself, I'd be thinking, okay, um, what do I have that goes with that? Maybe nothing. When I go shopping next, when I'm online, when I'm looking at sales, I'm looking specifically for something that goes with this skirt, not just shopping aimlessly. Um, so hopefully that is a useful tip. I feel like it's kind of teaching you to suck eggs because it's not beyond the realms of your imagination, I realize. Um, but I think that hopefully some of you will have gone, oh, I could do that and it will actually be helpful. Uh, and if you already do something like this, please let me know what it is that you do. Right, so back to jump high. I'm gonna show you what I was bidding on, what I was watching, what I won. Um, so number one, watching the tons of things that I was watching. Uh, just to kind of show you some of the things that I found over the past week or so that have um, been of interest to me and what they actually ended up selling for. Uh, so is this Michael Kors, can I open it up? Yes. This Michael Kors um, padded jacket, 18 pounds. Again, there were additional fees on that in the region of 40 something percent, um, but still, incredible value. Uh, again, these are things that you can actually go and see in the different auction houses if you want to, in the different sites. You can actually go and visit these things and see what they're really like for yourself, um, especially if it was like something large, furniture or like white goods, that kind of thing. I probably would want to go and see it. But for clothing items, I, I feel like you kind of run the risk with clothing stuff when you buy anything online, especially on um, online auctions. And if you're used to that kind of thing, it's not going to feel like a far cry for you. Um, this, oh my goodness, this, I, I kind of was, I've got something so similar, which was the only thing that stopped me. But Lucky Brand is really, really expensive. Does it give you, um, yeah, approximate RRP is £151. And then that ended up going for 24 again, plus the buyer's fees and stuff. Um, these were the things that I was super interested in. How cute is that? Right, so this is not the one that I got. This, oh my goodness, that actually went for, oh, it's not finished yet. Okay, that's not finished yet. I'm telling myself internally not to buy that too. Right, so I'll show you what I won. And it was this, and it went for 20. The RRP was 95, um, but more than that, no longer available. Um, and I purchased some Disney things in the past that I felt like were a bit, they were, they were gimmicky. I mean, this is gimmicky, but stuff that was like taking up a lot of space, wasn't really functional for me. Like I had a big lozenge bag with a big like Mickey Mouse head on it. It was cute, but it didn't really work for me. This little pouch, always useful, even inside a bag, um, as a clutch, as a travel thing. Like when we go away, I'm not hundred percent sure how large this is. I Googled it. And I feel like it's maybe like this, but I think it's big enough to get passports in. Um, so I thought while we're traveling, the passports can go in there when we go to Disney at the end of the year. The whole thing was super cute. So after I had won the auction, because uh, this was the thing that I was most interested in, this was the reason that I really wanted to buy something so that I could give you my experience as a buyer rather than just tell you about the site. Um, so once I actually had won the auction, I was wondering what was going to happen because I was like, there's no invoice there. I don't know how I pay for it. This is all like a, a whole new world. Uh, and I wasn't totally sure. I went into the, um, like the help part, the, the information, and it did tell me about an hour later, you'll get an invoice. So I got an email with the invoice to tell me how much it was. And then at that point it said, did I want postage? So I could have then gone to collect it if I wanted to, 20 pounds would have been what I paid. I actually paid six pounds for it to be couriered to me. So I'm waiting for that to arrive right now. That will be included in the video at the end of the month. Um, I'm super excited for it to arrive. 
and um if you want to see uh, and hear from me like what the full experience was then tune into that video because that's going to be the only time that i can really tell you start to finish this is how it worked for now it's an exciting website that i keep refreshing that has tons of random stuff on it that i didn't even know that i've always wanted i needed um but a lot of kind of limited edition stuff like this uh that i kind of go crazy for so yeah if you've tried this already let us know um let us know if you've already tried kind of similar websites if you've um maybe gone to visit them i really would quite like to and maybe um vlog it like go to one of these sites and see what there is just seems a bit like what's it called one of those um reality tv shows called when they go and um look at all the auction stuff ah storage wars that kind of thing um i kind of want to go and see it so let me know if you'd be interested and i might make a trip and vlog it um but yeah for now hopefully that was useful hopefully some of you now have a new way of packing or organizing your wardrobe or shopping or whatever um and hopefully some of you are interested in the website too uh but thank you for watching if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe thank you for supporting this sponsored video and i will see you guys next time bye